From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Hogan. A family in New Haven has been forced from their home this after a fire broke out. The fire breaking out at the home here on Elm Street. Initial reports said that there were people trapped inside that house, but upon arrival, the fire department said everyone was able to get out on their own. Four people were forced from their home, two adults and two children. The, the house has uh, suffered damage on the first floor, possibly extended to the second. Um, our crew is still now working on salvage and overhaul, looking for any hot spots, any hitting fire. The cause of that fire on Elm Street is still under investigation. The hockey community is showing an outpouring of support for the family of Teddy Balkin. The 10th grade private school student died Thursday after colliding with another player at a hockey game in Greenwich. Outside of St. Luke's School in New Canaan, the mood was somber as students and parents mourned the loss of Teddy. It's horrible. It's, I, it's really bad. I feel like it's just like an outreach of, uh, I don't know. Police say Balkan died after a Thursday evening during a JV hockey game. This is between St. Luke's and Brunswick School. An official cause of death has not yet been released. COVID-19 test kits and N95 masks were distributed in many communities today, including Plymouth. This was a scene at Terryville High School at noontime as residents 55 and older lined up. Other residents were allowed to pick up their kits or mask after 1 p.m. with proof of residency. Winter weather advisory is in place for tomorrow morning across most places in Connecticut, and we may see that ice threat into the afternoon as well. Even as temperatures are rising above freezing, it may take a while for the ice that's on the roads to melt. And the worst time frame for that icing is going to be around 8 a.m. to noon, and we could see that extend into the afternoon for the Litchfield Hills. And if that turns out to be all freezing rain up in the hills, we could see some isolated tree damage up there as well. But for the I-84 corridor, we're concerned about a glazing, but it looks likely that we'll see a glazing for the I-84 corridor. You can see that there's some greens on there, Hartford into Manchester, but that could be freezing rain because of the freezing effect that the refrigerating effect that the snowpack will have across Connecticut. So that is definitely going to be a factor here. All that snow that's on the ground. Seven day forecast down to 32 degrees on Monday, then very cold on Tuesday. Dangerous wind chills for Tuesday morning. High temperature of only 13 degrees, 26 on Wednesday. Cold but quiet work week is ahead.